Hi, it's Sajan Elandur from plrhouse.com and in this video I want to show you how to edit your download page aka thank you page. For that let me go to the folder where I uploaded the files. As you know we are using one of our PLR product Zoom Master for this demo purpose. So the download page you can see under module 5 ready made sales page and download page open that folder and this is the download page download page and thank you pages are same so this is our download page you can right click and open with blue griffin remember the way we have edited our sales page in the same way we can edit our download page also so open that file in blue griffin now the main areas we want to do the changes are of course uh, you can put your name here then here zoom master training guide we have to give a link here you know this is where people can download your product we want to upload the training guide cheat sheet mind map and resources these are the modules we are offering in our front end so we have to upload these files somewhere you can use either amazon dropbox or any external sources or if you want to upload it in your hosting that is also fine if it is in amazon or any other places like dropbox you can link it here you know but in this video i'm going to show you how to upload these files into your hosting and get a link from there for that first we want to upload the training guide for that just go to the module training guide remember we have made a copy and done some editing in the previous video so open that file so after you have done the editing you can go to save us then click on pdf in that way that word will be converted to a pdf file then click on save now our word file is converted to pdf and zoom master training guide copy this is the one we have converted into pdf right now as this is our final book, let me give a name, Zoom Master, Master Final, yeah, this is our ebook, this is the one we want to upload to your web hosting, for that I have opened FileZilla, if you haven't watched my previous videos where I explained how to upload the files using FileZilla software to your web hosting please watch it now so that you will get an idea how we can upload the files into your web hosting use using an ftp software namely FileZilla. so as we are here in FileZilla, my web hosting is connected with this software now so you can also do the same by putting your host name username password and everything and it will be connected after that decide if you have more than one site decide where you want to put all these files so i have decided for this demo purpose i am going to put all my files under listbuildingexcellence.com website so after that make sure that you open this public html folder this is where we want to upload the files so this is listbuildingexcellence.com this is the website i want to put my files and under public html folder as you can see there are so many files here in order to make it easy i want to create a directory or a folder now for that you can just right click here and click on directory i want to create a separate directory or a folder and i want to put all my files there let me name as we are uploading the product zoom let me give the folder name as zoom then click ok as you can see a new folder is created namely zoom double click that folder as we have no files here the folder is empty this is where we want to upload our files the first file we want to upload is the training guide our final training guide so just find the folder the ebook in our hard drive so master final pdf this is the final ebook so as i want to upload this ebook to my web hosting account for that just right click here and 
click on upload but before clicking the upload button make sure that you are on the correct site you know otherwise it will be uploaded in the wrong folder so in my case list building excellence and under zoom folder this is where i want to upload the files so just click on upload now the file is uploaded in my hosting account then we have to get this link to put it here you know in order to get that link let me open a notepad where i can save these links my website address where i can find this link is www.listbuildingexcellence.com and zoom and then i have to put this link i will show you in a minute listbuildingexcellence.com let me put that one in the browser listbuildingexcellence.com this is my main website okay under listbuildingexcellence.com as you can see the folder name is zoom okay zoom then what what is our file name zoom master final pdf so i have to get this name for that just click on that folder right click and click on rename then copy this portion then put it here so this is the complete link for the ebook so it is under listbuildingexcellence.com site under the folder zoom and the file name is zoom master final pdf this is how you can get the link from the website so let us see whether it is working let me copy and put it in my browser to see whether it is working properly yeah so the link is working so when somebody go to your download page and click that link they can see the pdf and download the pdf from there so now we want to link that download link we want to connect it here click here to download for that just double click here and put our url the one we have saved and press ok right now we have connected our training guide link to here so now it is working the next thing we want to upload is the cheat sheets for that uh, just go to the cheat sheet from that cheat sheet open the word document and make sure you are doing necessary editing here you have to put your upsell page link and here you have to insert your upsell page link if you want then wherever you need the editings after you have done necessary editings you can go to save us then convert in order to convert that word document into pdf you can just click on pdf and save this is how we can convert that word document into pdf so after you have done that you can go to your uh, ftp you can go to filezilla and upload your cheat sheet just right click and upload let me remove the spaces otherwise it will show the percentage and some weird characters there in the browser so this is our let me copy it this is our cheat sheet link we can save that link into our notepad the other address will be like this you know this exactly the same until here So this will be the link for our cheat sheet. Let me see whether it is working properly. Yeah, the cheat sheet also is ready. This is the link we want to put it in our download page. For that just come to cheat sheet, double click here and put your URL there. And click okay. Now you have linked your cheat sheet there in that way you can do the mind map and resources the same way so our download page is ready and this is how you can edit your download page and after you have done everything you can upload this download page in your hosting using filezilla thank you so much and i will see you in the next video